Okay, so to create the boundary, uh, to capture the boundary layer, we need to set what's called a prism layer, um, which is sort of, uh, you know, where, like, in the places near the surface, it'll refine the mesh so it's finer. I'll show you. So the first thing is we never selected the prism layer mesher in the meshing, so we can go back and select the prism layer mesher. And once we do that, uh, when we open up this thing, we'll have a new thing here, prism layer mesher. And we can select the certain values. So you can see the prism layer thickness, etc. So to determine the prism layer thickness, um, I'm using this formula here. Uh, here. So, um, and we're going to solve that for our flow. Uh, we're Reynolds number. So to calculate the um, the thickness of the boundary layer, um, we can use this formula, and where x is 2.46 meters, which is the length of my geometry. So when I plug in all the numbers, I get. Uh, taking note that my Reynolds number is uh, 1.1 million, the result I get is the boundary layer should be around uh, 5.6 centimeters uh, big. So I need to make sure the prism layer is slightly uh, bigger than that. So if I go back to that prism layer setting, uh, I'll choose around, say, 10 prism layers should be more than enough. I'll, uh, choose a stretching of around 1.3 and then the prism layer thickness I'll change that to absolute and I'll make the thickness what we just calculated uh, 5.63 centimeters I'll make it more actually because the prism layer needs to be a bit bigger so six I'll make it six centimeters then okay and that should be enough so now let's redo the volume mesh and see what happens Okay, so here you can see the prism layer uh, has been created. Uh, looks okay, but the only thing I'd comment is this this one looks too big in comparison. So this is the end of the prism layer. But this one's too big in comparison to its next cell. So what I'm going to do, and also I want the ones near the surface to be really, really small. So I'll just... Um, change the prism layer stretching again to be um, or I might just add more a few more prism layers say 13 so let's rerun the mesh and see what the results are okay so the prism layer is finished um, um, finished uh, going and that looks a bit better to me you can barely tell where the prism layer begins and the rest of the mesh uh, begins where the prism layer ends okay so that that should be cool we'll sh we should get our prism layer there and so now the meshing is um, complete so uh, so now let's just continue to set up our simulation okay so just checking our uh, initial conditions Let's uh, set the turbulence intensity. The value should be 0.25%. So it's 0 0.02, no, 0 0.25. So that's 0.25%. Um, okay, so. Okay, I think now we've pretty much set up our whole simulation. Okay, sorry, we need to set up the uh, initial velocity as well. So we already set our inlet velocity here, okay? But we also need to set the initial uh, velocity of all of the fluid so it begins moving also at that inlet velocity. So that would be that, see you, and then... In the next, I'm just trying to rush for the video. Okay, and it's almost finished. Okay, so that's it. See you in the next video.